Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Your Majesty TV. I have been gone for a little minute because I had to get another computer and now I am recording on Premiere Pro again, but today's video is a blonde TWA routine and a get ready with me. So I just showed you um, my brown sugar scrub that I used on my face after washing it and before putting on my makeup. And now I am showing you the products that I'm going to be using today. One thing I want to say about this Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In is that they definitely changed the formula. Um, you know, it wasn't sold like that. I feel like that ain't nothing but some coconut curling cream or something. But, um, yeah. So, the next clip is really just for aesthetic purposes. Just me showing you all um, me shampooing my hair. And this was actually the first time since I cut my hair doing this routine where I used the gel and I really like that gel. Um, it helped define my curls a lot. So now I'm going in with that Lush Length Conditioner by Shea Moisture. It's one of my favorite conditioners. Now I'm making sure I get that on my edges too. And then I'm adding the Do Grow Stimulating Hair Oil to that. And I think I left this in for about 10 minutes. So before I put on the gel, I'm spraying my hair with water and this is what you want to do to get those defined curls. Start off with really wet hair and then I'm just putting that gel all throughout my hair and I'm using this little thing. I don't know what this is called, but um, it works really well for me because my hair is super short right now. I tried to use a sponge and it didn't work quite as well. so. This thing is a lifesaver. I cut off most of the part where I was doing my edges because you can't really see them because <laughs> they're blonde. Um, so now onto the makeup portion. I'm just mixing my NYX Bear With Me primer with my Ulta Matte Primer. And it's a really good combination. Also, all of the products that I'm going to be using in this video will be in the description box. And now I'm using my Airspun powder just to set my primer. I like to do this because I do have oily skin and I just wanna make sure that I start off with a base that is going to work well with the makeup. So for a little minute, my skin is gonna look kinda ashy, but that's okay. And now I'm just brushing my brows with the spoolie side of my Makeup Revolution um, Brow Definer. I really like this product. Lately, I've been getting new makeup little by little, and this just goes on so smoothly. And I like how dark it is. Lately, I've been into dark brows but not like black brows and I think this gave me exactly what I wanted and now I think I just use some LA girl pro concealer for this um, normally I don't go above my eyebrow with a light color but I don't have any I don't really have any um, concealer that matches my skin tone I have to get some more of my NARS creamy radiant concealer in cacao that's my favorite one which you'll see me use in a second here so 
so now I'm using my Tarte Amazonian Clay um, foundation. And I really like this foundation. I like that the consistency is kind of similar to clay. Before I started using this, I was using the Lancome foundation and after a while I didn't really like it. So if I don't use this Tarte foundation, I use um, the NYX Born to Glow and I think I'm in the color Mocha. So like whenever I don't wanna use my expensive foundation, I just use that one. But I mean, I guess this matches my skin pretty good. When I first tried it, I had to like, I gave it a minute to oxidize or whatever. And it had a way better finish than the previous foundation I was using. So I'm using a um, e.l.f. brush to blend that out. It's the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush, one of my favorites. I have like two of these and eventually I'll get more high quality brushes, but e.l.f. makes some pretty good ones. So now I'm just showing you the concealer that I'll be using. And this is that NARS concealer I mentioned earlier that doesn't really have a lot left in it. So I've had bags under my eyes since I was a little kid. And I just feel like if I go in with a concealer that matches my skin tone first before putting the lighter one, it conceals them a lot better. And that lighter concealer that you saw me show before I started putting this on is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. So I'll put that on in a second. I'm just blending out that NARS with a wet uh, blending sponge. And you see how I blended that lighter color on my brows with um, the foundation and the concealer to make it a little less noticeable. So now I'm applying the lighter concealer and I started doing my concealer like this because I think I was watching a Robert Welsh video I think that's his name and he was reacting to someone else do their makeup and um, the woman he was watching did her concealer like this and when you put it on your cheekbone like that it kind of gives you like a natural facelift and it really accentuates your cheekbone especially when you go to like bronze or contour and it's just using way less concealer than doing the like triangle thing not everybody has the same face shape and so I started doing this and I think it helps me um, like conserve product and stuff like that. So now I'm using my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. This is one of my favorite setting powders. I've had this for a really long time actually. And I'm just putting that in the lid and using the flat bottom part of a Real Technique sponge to apply it. And I'm showing y'all my nails cause they was cute. Well, my nails still look like that. I wanted them to look like a um, Neapolitan ice cream. <laughs> And now I decided to do a glossy lid because I didn't feel like doing eyeshadow. And I use this NYX, it's like a lid lacquer, I think. Lid lacquer, lacquer, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I always use this for glossy lid looks. I know a lot of people use lip gloss, but I just don't think that's for your eyes. Um, and it's sticky, so. Now I'm using my Morphe face palette. I think this palette is uh, called Rich. And so it has two highlights, two blushes, two bronzers, one brightener, and also the dark shade is for the contour. So I really like this palette. And first I'm going in with that 
bronzer color like the darkest shade next to the contour if that makes sense and I'm just doing this to warm up my face and set set it up for uh, the contour and then once I do that I'm going to go in with that dark color and contour my cheekbones in different areas of my face and then I squeeze it to get my nose I don't really do a super detailed nose contour just get it looking a little slimmer and I'm good to go, honey. So now I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me powder in the shade 375 which is the color Java and I always use this stuff for like as an all-over face powder I like to use it to blend out my um, setting powder because I just feel like it reduces the risk of making your makeup look ashy and now I'm spraying my face with the e.l.f. Glow Dewy Mist. I love this stuff. It's very refreshing and it smells good. Apparently it has coconut oil and argan oil in it. And I wouldn't suggest putting straight up coconut oil on your face, but um, I've never had an issue with that spray. And I'm putting on my blush and highlight now. And I'm using the blush and the highlight from the um, Morphe Face Palette. I used to hate blush, but I love blush now because it really warms up my face and I especially use it for situations like this where I'm not doing any eyeshadow. And this brush, I don't know where I got this from, but it's not a very dense brush. It moves around a lot, so I like to use it to apply my highlight. And now I'm going in with the Tarte opening act lash primer I was watching one of those Vogue makeup tutorials and um, like the celebrity ones and actually Tracy Ellis Ross is the one who put me on to this stuff and it basically acts as a barrier between your natural lashes and the mascara and it kind of opens up your eyes before even putting the mascara on so I don't use this all the time but if I'm not wearing lashes which I normally don't um, I like to put this on before adding my mascara and with my mascara I usually do like two to three coats so I just wait until that dries clear before putting the mascara on and now I'm adding some of that highlight to my brow bone now when you do this if you have eyeshadow on or like me with the glossy lids you really want to make sure that you blend that brow bone highlight into your um, shadow or whatever is on your eye if you just are adding brow bone highlight and you don't have anything on your eye then I suggest getting a powder close to your skin tone to blend it because if you don't it is going to stand out and not in a good way And I even went ahead and added some of that on the inner corners of my eyes just for a little razzle dazzle. I have very wide eyes so I like to accentuate that sometimes. And then here's me putting on my mascara. This is a Lancome mascara. I love this stuff. Eventually I'm going to get a um, the bigger size because... I haven't used another mascara since I got this one and I've had this for a few months so I don't remember the name of it though I think it's in French but like I said all of the products that were in this video I will put them in the description box and now for my lips I always do my lips the same way um, I hardly ever wear lipstick 
it's not that I don't like it it's just kind of a lot to maintain throughout the day so I'm lining my lips with a black eyeliner um it's like a dollar at the beauty supply store and so it's this lip gloss I'm pretty sure this is the max clear lip gloss and then I'm going on top of that with my Anastasia um, gloss in the color Parfait, I'm pretty sure. And then I'm setting all of that into place with my Urban Decay D Slick Setting Spray, my favorite, favorite, favorite setting spray. Love this stuff, especially since my skin is oily. But yeah, this is the finished look. I hope that it was kind of easy to follow. Um, I do have more makeup videos coming soon because I love makeup. It's very therapeutic for me. And also cooking videos, stuff like that. So definitely stay tuned. Make sure you share, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Love ya.